<laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be testing out cool Amazon gadgets. Now these gadgets might work or they might not work, but today we're going to put them to the test and I'm going to let you know if they're worth buying. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. For gadget number one, we have a french fry holder for car. Now this is a universal, if it's any cup holder. I don't know about y'all, but whenever I'm driving, I'm like holding my french fry, shaking everywhere, and I make a mess. So we're going to place it in our cup holder. It fits here, perfect, but I want to put it here in the center. I feel like that's a perfect fit. We also picked up some McDonald's, so we can put this gadget to the test. We're going to take our fries, we're going to place them in here. Ooh, Bam! Fit. It's snugged in there, guys. Now you can just drive, put your enjoying your french fry i have to say this gadget is a success on to the next one for gadget number two we have a cup holder tray for car another car gadget you guys know that i love to eat in my car so whenever i find one of these i get really excited because i really want to try it out so for this one basically it holds your burger for example and it can also hold your phone so you can be like eating and watching your show at the same time so let's unbox this and assemble it well you have to assemble it i think so like what is this i thought this was gonna be easy but maybe it's not that hard that's why you read instructions. It doesn't come with instructions though. Like there's no instructions in here. And this is literally all it tells you. That's it. Wait, the instructions are in the back. Oh! <laughs> okay, I did not know that. I think I got it guys. I just have to twist this to the top. Make sure it's nice and secure. Oh, you lock it here. Look, you lock it like this. Oh, and it opens oh, wider until okay, it's okay. like snugged in there. So you're going to keep it twisting until you get the perfect fit. So I think mine is going to fit in there perfectly. We have our tray secured. We're going to take our phone. We're going to place it here. Next step is we're going to take our burger. We're going to place it in the tray. Look at that. This actually will come in handy for like lunchtime and stuff like that. I feel like this is already a success, guys. Dude, you could be driving, you know, yeah, on with a red your little light. nuggets. You're in a red light. Watch your show and yeah. eat. Well, no, not watch the show while you're driving, guys. No, Don't on do a red that. Light. Yeah, but you can have your nuggets with the ketchup and like dip it and eat it while you're driving. So the final test is we're going to take a bite of this Big Mac. Low key, you want to take a bite. <laughs> For sure. I mean, it is lunchtime, so I'm hungry. I have to say, this gadget is a success. <laughs> For this next gadget, we have a mini flying drone. So basically, is instead of a bigger drone, you have a mini one. So if this one works, I think Jason is really going to enjoy it because didn't you have a drone back then? Yeah, and this one has a camera too, so that's pretty dope. Yeah, built inside so you can record. I just honestly got it because I think it looks pretty cool. It's so tiny. We're gonna take the wings out. Now it does come with an app, so that way you can like control it, you can record. So I'm going to download the app, try to figure it out, and I'll be right back. Five minutes later. Well, it looks like just half of the drone is working because I couldn't connect the app to my phone. I couldn't make it work, so I think we can still try to fly it with the remote, which kind of defeats the purpose because you really can't use the camera, which is why you would want to purchase a mini drone to record, right? So we're still gonna give it a test and see if it works. I think I figured it out. <laughs> it's moving a little bit. Oh! Okay, there you go, there you go. Wait, it's actually kind of fun. Don't hit the TV. Wait. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? Stop it. Okay, guys, it looked like it survived the fall, so I'm going to attempt it one more time. All right, let's go that way. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Oh. Yeah, land it. Let's see if you can do that. Yeah! Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, yes, I made it land, guys. So as you guys can see, the mini drone does work 50% uh, because the camera, we couldn't make it work, which, again, kind of defeats the purpose. But I'm going to have to give this gadget a 50-50. I'm going to go back later on to try to see if I can figure out the app. But for now, I'm going to have to say this one is kind of a success. We interrupt this program for an important news. Announcement. Before we test out the next gadget, I want to give a huge shout out to Rubble Rock for sponsoring this portion of the video. If you guys have never heard of 
Roborock. Roborock is a robot vacuum. So the Roborock S7 vacuums and mops your floors in a single clean. The most important feature of Roborock S7 is the sonic technology it uses to scrub floors up to 3,000 times per minute, eliminating dried on stains that some robots may leave behind from coffee to muddy footprints and more. The intelligent mop lifts when the carpet is detected so you can mop hard floors and vacuum carpets in a single clean. Now let's talk about their new rubber brush. It is more durable, its spiraling blades agitate better, and it's even better at avoiding hair tangles. Now you might be wondering, how does the Rubble Rock know where to clean? Well, it details a map of your home and it is able to identify rooms across up to four levels. Using ultrasonic sound, S7 recognizes carpet with extraordinary accuracy. Then you can choose to let it lift its mop to vacuum or you can draw a no mop zone right on the carpet to keep it away. You can also set up a no go zone if you want the Rubble Rock to not clean in a certain area. For example, in my office where I have all of my podcasts set up, I have cables in the floor so I drew a no go zone Zone, so that way the Roborock cleans all over the office, just not in that area. You can also schedule your Roborock to clean a certain room at a certain time. For example, I schedule it to clean the whole kitchen area at nighttime, so that way when I come downstairs, my floors are nice and clean. Another cool thing is you don't have to flip over the S7 for installing the mopping pad, and it is really easy to refill the water container. You just fill it up with water, close it, pop it back into place, and it's that easy. The Roborock S7 is also voice control, so you can connect it to your Amazon Alexa, Google Home, and see your shortcuts and you can simply just be like hey Alexa ask Roborock to start cleaning and it will start cleaning so if you guys want to get your own Roborock S7 I will leave the link down below in the description box and once again thank you Roborock for sponsoring this portion of the video and now let's go back to testing more gadgets <laughs> Up next, guys, we have the Can Caps Locking Top. So this is specifically for your sodas. So it helps keep insects out and also helps prevent spills. By the way, if you guys really enjoy these videos, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let's try to get today's video to 20,000 likes. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you can get notified every single time that I post a new video. Now let's put this can lid to the test. So we're going to open our soda. And we're going to take one of these lids, put it on top, bam, you open it like this, you can drink it. <sighs> yeah, why is sparkling water so good? So if you guys look closely, it has a filter, that way the insects don't get in. And you can also close it, because you know how sometimes you're in the park and the flies are like flying all over your soda? And then it's also supposed to be spill proof, so let's give it a test. Say I spill my drink. Dude, that is... <laughs> that is not <laughs> wait, wait, do it again, maybe because it had a lot of gas. Okay, it literally says, helps prevent spills. Lie, what a lie. Okay, maybe I did it a little bit too hard. Let's just do it like that. Uh, it's just no, it's yeah. still leaking. But like realistically, who's going to drop their soda like this? Like, you yeah. know what I mean? So unfortunately, guys, this gadget did not work. <laughs> To be honest, this next gadget, I have no idea why I ordered it. This is a trick board and basically you get on it and you jump. It also says, remember to always wear your fly bar helmet and protective gear. Oops. Oh. This is the ball we're going to bounce on. This is the pump, so we're going to blow this up. I'm almost done. I think that should be good enough. <gasps> Dude, that looks like a really bad idea. Dude, my heart right now is like racing. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh, okay. There you go. There we go. Okay. Kind of. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Okay. I kind of got it. I feel like I just need to practice to get better. Obviously, practice makes perfect. But I'm going to have to say this gadget was definitely worth it. <laughs> This next gadget is the Happy Toaster. Now this toaster comes with eight unique designs for your bread. I know, I know you're thinking like, what the heck designs for my bread? But basically how this works is you put your bread slices in the toaster, you choose a design, and your bread comes out with that design. So I really want to try this one out and see if it is true that it's going to come out with the design. So we're gonna take out the toaster. This is what the toaster looks like. I'm gonna face it this way towards you guys. 
This is the plate. So these are the designs that you have. So these are some of the designs. It says good vibes, period. Agree with this one. Thank God it's Friday. I woke up like this. Butter me up. That was a good one. Hashtag YOLO. Get in my belly. And then there's this unicorn one. And then this one says you got this. So I'm trying to decide what designs we're going to do. And I think I want to do good vibes. And I woke up like this. So what you do is inside of the toaster, there is two slots as you guys can see here that is where you put in your designs and you're going to do that using this tool just like that and we're going to put our two bread slices in here wait why is it not working okay there we go okay <laughs> now let's see if this works guys i'm scared right now why is it smoking is it because it's like a brand new toaster <laughs> i don't know is don't that think, why it's smoking i don't think it should be smoking and it smells like burnt metal it does it smells really bad <laughs> and if it starts smoking like a lot a lot then i'm gonna unplug it but for now i'm gonna cross my fingers and hope for the best so i think the bread is done i took it out before it stopped because it smells like burnt toast already what does that say Ooh, it did work oh good vibes that is so cool okay this is a little burnt but it does work i'm gonna take out this other one you can still kind of like understand it a little bit i woke up like this but i want to say this one is the one that came out the best so now i'm going to try it nice and toasty with the beautiful design what else could i ask for i'm gonna say this gadget is a success for this gadget we have a smartphone projector this is basically cinema in a box now this is really cool because you can use it in your home or you can take it on the go i think it already comes assembled you just have to pop it out and you basically already have your projector there we go okay that's it that's your projector that's the projector yeah that's it i think we just have to add the lens all right guys i think we got it now all that is left to do is to put my phone so i'm going to play one of my videos we're going to put it here i'm going to play it we're going to close it and let's take it to the wall now and see if it works wait but how are you supposed to listen to the sound i can barely hear it yeah that's true it's not loud okay let's see if it works wait i don't wait. see anything you should turn off the light dude what is that <laughs> You would think the closer you get it, the better the quality will get. But it's actually the worse the quality gets. If you pull it further, you can kind of see me a little bit there. But dude, this sucks. Like honestly guys, it's not even worth it. I have to say this gadget is definitely not it. For this next gadget, we have this Frozen Magic Free Squeeze and Enjoy. So this slushifies your drinks in just minutes. It's supposed to be really easy to use it, so let's test it out. I put mine in the freezer overnight, and then you're gonna take whatever drink you want. I love some orange drinks. We're gonna take this one. So I'm gonna pour my orange soda in here. As you guys can see, this is completely frozen. So we're gonna pour about that much. Then we're just going to squeeze it and it should slushify in a couple of minutes. Dude, what? Can you see it? It's right been, away. It's been less than a minute and we already got slushy. Dude, that is crazy. So I think the way it works is because of all the ice and then the soda is cold. It like freezes it right away. Yeah. That's it, it's done. Guys, look at the consistency. It's literally a slushy. I'm gonna give it a try. Mm. Dude, imagine putting like red Fanta or like Sprite. Or the blue one. Ooh. Oh my God, imagine throwing like some Sour Patch Kids in there. Ooh. Get creative. Oh my God, I love this, guys. Plus, I really like how it's really easy to use. Like you just like squeeze it and in less than a minute you have a slushy. I freaking love this one. I'm gonna have to say this gadget is a success. <laughs> For this next gadget, if you're a coffee lover like me, you're really going to like these, or at least I hope they work. So these are latte stencils. Basically what you do is you put it on top of your coffee and you put some cinnamon and you get a cute design on top of your coffee. So I'm gonna take some of my milk so we can start preparing our latte. Then we have to start working on our froth because this is important. You're gonna want to have froth so that way you can put your stencil on top and then you can sprinkle the cinnamon and you can have your design. Now we're gonna froth the whipping cream. I think that is pretty much done. Now I'm going to pour it on top of the milk. I'm gonna use this as a spoon. 
Now here's where the gadget comes in. So these are stencils like I told you guys. There's a lot of different designs you can choose from. I'm gonna use this one. We're gonna put it on top. We're gonna take our cinnamon. We're gonna sprinkle it right above the stencil. Do you think it's gonna work? I don't know, are you ready? I think it's gonna work. One, yeah. two, three. three. <gasps> That's pretty cute. I mean, it's not perfect. <laughs> But it, I mean, it's good enough. So it does work. You can definitely do see yeah, the you shape can see there. It, but that's a lot of cinnamon. That is a lot of cinnamon. This one is definitely, if you love a lot of cinnamon, but you can use something else besides cinnamon. Maybe yeah. like cocoa or like, yeah, you know, you something can use else. Whatever you want. But. Yeah. But I'm going to have to say, guys, this gadget is a success. Now I have something to spice up my coffee. All right, guys, that is the end of today's video. Drop a like if you guys want to see a part two. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, coming in, coming in yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LABB, who we running with?